All righty. I'm going to wait for you guys to kind of come on here. <clears throat> a little bit tired. Got a big day tomorrow. Got a big day tomorrow. All right, can I just get a sound check? I see one person. Hey, brother, brother uh, Tyler, can you, how am I sounding? Somebody just give me an eight. Okay, good. All right. All right, guys. Hey, made the news again. I'm going to put it um, down below. I'm going to put the article. I made the Green Bay Gazette again. Um, I think uh, the guy that first came out with the story uh, did a follow-up. Uh, we actually did a two and a half hour interview. And I felt that um, he was fair. He was fair. Obviously, he's not going to be perfect, but I believe he was fair and he was able to get my side of the story. So, um, um, so click down below. You can see the Green Bay Gazette article um, with my side of the story. Um, secondly, um, tomorrow, um, <clears throat> uh, me and um, uh, Ryan and Jordan will be going in for an injunction hearing. Uh, we both, uh, we all had a uh, temporary restraining order put on us um, due to the incident that happened two weeks ago. So, guys, please keep us in prayer. And um, for those who are listening and uh, are uh, believers in Yeshua HaMashiach and, and keep his commandments, please keep us in your prayers <clears throat> that we become victorious. I believe we'd be victorious. I know I need to get some rest, but just want to give you guys just that short announcement. Um, it's just amazing. It's amazing. Uh, the prep work that's uh, going into this stuff, so I really believe it's uh, we're gonna we will prevail by the grace of Yah. Um, but yeah, check out that uh, article and uh, share it. Share it around, um, <clears throat> uh, maybe to encourage uh, uh, the media to actually tell the truth. So he, I, I don't know if it's gonna make a, a large news, but maybe if this thing starts spinning, uh, people can start hearing more about the truth. People can hear this, you know. The other side uh, of the truth, um, you know, one person seems right until another person comes and cross examining. So I really think he did a fair job, uh, differentiates from the black Hebrew Israelites, from the Hebrews, uh, Israelites, uh, from straightway, what straightway is all about. Um, he, he just he really just allowed me to uh, put my story out there. So I'm very uh, thankful for Paul. Um, so but usually when something like that is, uh, you know, done. It usually doesn't make the, it may, it probably doesn't spread as fast. So guys, please share it, hit up their website, check it out, share it. I put it on my Facebook, but it should be down below. Keep us in your prayer. We're going to be there. Hit the smash, hit the like button, share this video. Um, we're going in to, um, see what they're going to do about the restraining order. I think uh, they call it an injunction hearing. And so an injunction hearing, I believe that's where they will determine, um, obviously, uh, the petitioner will come in. I think we got like four different petitioners coming in and, um, I think one for the lo lower school and upper school, and they're going to come in and they're going to, uh, determine if they need to, uh, <clears throat> put the, um, put the, to put the restraining order for it to be longer. It can go on for two, three, I don't know how many years they can, they're going to try to make an attempt to, uh, they may even try to attempt to take away our, our weapons. It's. Is this part of the game? It's part of the show. So we'll see. This is not the first time my ex-wife uh, did that to me, and uh, Fred Johnson uh, did that to me. So this is not this is not my first time around the rodeo. I'm a lot more uh, wiser, and um, so I think I will be able to um, to have this thing fall in my favor. And so pray not just for me, but also pray for uh, Brother Jordan, Brother Ryan. We all need your prayers. We are truly in a fight. Um, this is a testimony, you know, um, when you choose to live godly in Christ Jesus, you will suffer persecution. Uh, and so, um, <clears throat> guys, we need it. We need these prayers because uh, the fight is real. The hate is real. And uh, right now they're trying to find everything in their power to take me out. Um, I believe that the walls are crumbling down around Eileen. And uh, this is just one little obstacle I have to, have to get through to get to my destination. So just like my days in playing football, what did I do? <clears throat> I had people block me, double team me, trip, tri triple team me, cut me, chip block me. And all I just kept on doing is just kept pressing on, pressing on until I got to my target, until I got to the quarterback, until I caused a, a fumble and then changed the game around. 
Um, back in the days, I played a position that actually allowed you. I played a position that could be a game changer. And I'm still bringing that same attitude to the courtroom, to my public life, to the court life, to my family life. I'm just going to continue being faithful in the little things. I'm going to continue enduring to the end. We got to endure to the end. And guys, I'm going to tell you, I have not gotten a lot of sleep. I don't know if you can tell. I'm tired. Uh, but you know something that is the price for preparation. You can't come in here and throw a little bit of words here and there. You have to practice. You have to know, do your homework. You have to know your rights. You have to believe your rights. You have to believe your rights. Because if you don't believe your rights, and you can know, it's one thing to know it. But if you don't believe it, they got you. You got to go in there and know who you are in Christ Jesus. You got to know who you in, in the Messiah. You got to know. And that's what I plan on doing. I'm going to go in there. Me and my brother are going to go in there. And we're going to walk in the authority of Yeshua HaMashiach. That's why we're going to walk in there. So I know it's going to be more powerful with you guys praying. I appreciate Straightway Truth Ministry. I appreciate Pastor Dow for supporting me, uh, the brothers and sisters here at Straightway Praise Land. I truly appreciate it. And um, we need it. And I never got this type of support for Christianity. And this is actually for truth. I mean, both of them was truth. Christianity abandoned me uh, for standing up, for being a man in my house. And they, they took the side of the woman over the man, a righteous man, because men who try to do righteous. Matter of fact, a pastor got on me and says, all you care about is being right. I said, yes, I do want to be right in Yah's eye, not in my eyes, in his eyes. But in Christianity, being right in Yah's eyes is unacceptable. It's unacceptable. It's it's. It's, uh, it's just, it's bad. It's bad, wicked. It's wicked in Christianity. But a straight way, being righteous is good. It's good. It's preach. It's practice. And so, um, yes, I like the word uh, Kenny said, upright. It's, it's good. That's what Yah is all about. And so we're going to go and we're going to go into a wicked system. We're going to a wicked court. We're going, we're going at a wicked court. We're going to be going there and they're going to try to persecute us. They're going to try to find a way to get us to submit to their God, to their, to their pagan God. They, that's what they want us to do, but we're not. We're going to stand just like, remember, remember the story of Rashak, Meshach, and Abednego, the three uh, Hebrews who were stoned into the fiery furnace. Can you imagine that? See, look at the testimonies coming. They're trying to get us to, to worship, even though the Constitution says that they would, they would, uh, the Congress would make no law establishing or prohibiting the free exercise. Now you got Rashak, Meshach, and Abednego, or the bad Negro, going before uh, this, this magistrate. And they're going to try to get us to bend our knees to their pagan God. We will bow to no God except for, for Yahweh, Yahweh, the Most High. That's the only God that we worship. And so I'm excited, guys. But hey, does that mean that uh, fear doesn't come? Hey, it's not that uh, you don't have you know, fear, but, but being courageous is, the, is, is being fearful, but also uh, uh, absent, uh, what do you call it, being courageous in the spite of your, your feelings. And so we're going in. It's, it's dangerous. And uh, so um, we will see what they're going to do to us. We're going to see. Uh, but really, they should be worried about what we're going to do to them. So I got to start thinking like a man and not like a slave. So anyway, guys, this is getting a little bit longer. But check out that website, the uh, Green Bay Gazette. Uh, please share it with as many people as you can. Come on, Israel, share it out because we want to let them know that good news is actually you can sell papers. So share it. But unfortunately, people love the juicy paper. They love juicy, wicked, untrue lies. So let's show them that, hey, if you put a little bit of truth, we will read that too. So I'm here to encourage you guys to check it out. Um, it's not perfect, but it's... <laughs> It's coming from a uh, from a, an atheist, or I don't even know if he's an atheist. So let me let me take that back. But he's not coming from a guy who's a Christian. He's just a guy, you know. And and I thought he did a he did a good job in being objective, and he put it out there. So thank you, Paul, for doing that, and um, thank you for having the uh, the 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 integrity as a reporter to want to get both sides of the story and not just run uh, with uh, gossip. So anyway, I love you guys. Blessings and shalom, shalom.